Hey guys, this is Gundam Freedom and I am currently in the process of um, modifying the Dragon Gundam. So, here's the arm, lower arm. So what I will do is separate the two pieces. have this um, scrap graze arm and then I need this uh, socket here so that I can use the high grade hands for the new kit as you can see here it fits securely on this, uh, on this socket here so what I need to do is test out how the socket will fit into the hand here it's like so so what I will do is <coughs> let's get my plastic cement here then cut out the existing socket like so Just clean up the excess with the hobby knife. Is where the socket will connect. Then let's test it if it can fit. There we go. It does fit. Then let's just saw the socket out. There we go. Then make sure that they will align together without any gaps. Like so. Uh, I need to clear out more space here. Just have to sand this down.
also sand it the other edge down so that it can fit here onto the hand Just fit it on the other side here Just clear out some more plastic here. And there's the socket connected onto the hand. Now we just need to glue it on this side. Just remove some more excess plastic here. we go there is the new socket for the new high grade hand for the dragon Gundam uh, this gap here can be covered by the dragon head here so it's not a problem so that's the hand so what I will do is for the elbow joint I will use this uh, scrap elbow joint from I think a GM Jim Jim from Gundam build fighters so what I will do is I will just slide this down here cut off the peg here and this and then slide this down and then glue it on to the sides here so that it can fit there I have finished modifying the arms so I, if you watch my previous, uh, the previous part of this uh, work in progress video, you will know that how, how I did the elbow and the wrist areas. And then here on the upper bicep, what I did is I inserted uh, three poly caps that fits into the connector piece here from the original shoulder of the um, Dragon Gundam. So I uh, stuck three of them there and then the connection piece for the whole shoulder so it can move in and out and also rotate on the bicep just like so. And then I glued, this is from a spare RX-78 shoulder. So what I did is I cut out the ball joint here and glued it onto the shoulder armor of the Dragon Gundam so that it could connect 
easily on the polycap pinch here on the torso and then for the torso here I already uh, um, attached a fill filler for the gap here on the chest so that now it's now flush with the whole body here I just need to repaint this part so that it will look much better as well as the arms here so the modification for the body is done as well as the arm modifications are done as well on both sides as you can see here then for the head um, if you've watched my previous work in progress for this kit um, I already done this head part from that previous part so I didn't do anything in this head just I just need to repaint it now and then for the legs uh, I didn't do anything to it uh, from the previous part of the work in progress so it's already done from the first part of the work in progress so I didn't do anything additional to it just I just need to repaint it now so yeah and then the uh, flag stuff I made the tip here pointy so that it will look uh, similar to what it looked like in the uh, anime as well as uh, I made the uh, end here also a little bit pointy and then I will attach a beam effect part here for the flag so that's the staff and then the core lander is the same I didn't do anything to it I just need to repaint this guy so that's the work in progress for the Dragon Gundam so look forward to the last part of this uh, wherein I will show you the finished kit all fully painted and ready to be reviewed so stay tuned for that and see you guys in the next review bye